Um, wanted to get another video out since the wonderful tablet keeps kicking and I am, haven't found another suitable upgrade yet. Figured it's great to show off the newest, latest, and greatest. So, Samsung SMP600, the wonderful Galaxy Note 10.1. This is a tablet that seems to exceed the test of time. Started with Jelly Bean. Actually, started, I think, before Jelly Bean, but I'm not 100% certain. But I got it, it was on 4.3. Then it became Kit Kat. Then it became Lollipop, then it became Marshmallow, and now what do we have for you today? Showing off the wonderful latest and greatest it is, wonderful Android 7.1. So, wonderful CM14.1. Now keep in mind this tablet is just keeps kicking and keeps going and keeps working amazingly. I have no complaints about this, but for those of you that want to see it running and see it up and going, again, Android 7.1. The biggest thing about this is that you may notice, and it may be an issue for some people, is the wonderful SE Linux status being permissive, which makes it unofficial signage mod until that's handled. It's done that way for a couple of reasons, a couple of which I do not know the exacts to. Um, however, having this uh, up and running is nice because you are on the latest and greatest. You get all the benefits and all the greatness that is Android Nougat. Now, don't mind my launcher in my background. It's the same stuff I've had in my other videos. It's Nova Launcher uh, Prime with uh, Space Battle by Kit to Face Software for the background. So both paid apps if you want them. There's free versions, but there's also paid version. The Icon Pack with the Lion style like that. Uh, that's a paid version. But if you want it, you gotta pay to play. So, but the biggest things we see coming in Android Nougat, as many people have been asking about, is the wonderful multi window. And it's great because you can actually pick your apps and have multi-window side-by-side natively working where you have two different apps doing their own things but that's the beauty of Android Nougat so as far as getting back out of it hit your thing hit your back no, it's just a hit your deal and then uh, you can go back bring it back out but there's a few ways to go through it uh, but it's nice having that option to do the full multi-window and enhance your multitasking uh, as far as that there's not too many other changes um, the different shorter uh, status slash pull down information bar, uh, for the most part, it's similar to how it was before, but it is better part of the same. Um, just nice having the quick icons for the quick shorties. Um, otherwise, everything else is essentially the same. Not too much different there. Um, still has multi user, still has everything else going. Uh, the best thing about this build is sound and video. Definitely all are working. Um, I'm a big sit on YouTube, watch some stuff, but it's nice that I can actually pull up and play videos and have stuff work just as you'd expect. No, you know, goofiness, no shit crashing, no things getting stupid. Come on. And just as well, because a lot of people like to always ask, status of the camera. And just in case you thought otherwise, yes, camera is up and working. So, it's nice that we have a uh, wonderful whiskey and uh, was tasty, in case you're asking. But uh, it's nice because the camera does work, does take pictures, does everything as you was expected to do. So, but uh, yeah. So, like I say, a quick teaser video just showing the basics, showing things up and working. Everything works. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all the audio. Uh, there have been a couple people with issues with the Wi-Fi bands for Wi-Fi on the AC channels for the five gigahertz. Uh, it's region encoding, it's a line you gotta change. Uh, any questions or anything about it, hit up the XDA forums. If you have this tablet, you should already know where those forums are, and if you're new to them, search the XDA forums with the model number, the SMP600. If you have a 601, you can flash it. You're not going to have cellular data, so don't ask. And if you're on a 605, it's a different device entirely. You're kind of at the mercy of the people in that thread. So can't tell you much else about the either devices that I don't own, so don't ask. And uh, yeah, hopefully it was helpful, and hopefully uh, I can say happy flashing. You will need to make sure you're on the newest uh, TWRP win recovery uh, as long as you're on the newest recovery, which is real easy to update if you're not, you're uh, good to go. So hopefully this is helpful. Like it, thumbs up it, ask questions if you want. I'll get back to you if I can, and uh, enjoy.